question. I doubt it will be answering yes to this question. But here we go. Do you remember the Calgary Canadians? They're going way, way back with this hockey club. Might as well talk about the Calgary Canadians junior hockey team. They did something very significant almost 100 years ago. So I'm doubting anyone remembers the Calgary Canadians. In fact, I don't have very much information on the Calgary Canadians about their records in season, but they it's still important for me to put the Calgary Canadians in my Remember the Calgary series. This is episode number 16, because they're the only team based out of Calgary to capture the Memorial Cup. Yes, the Memorial Cup, the championship trophy for junior hockey. So if, let's say, the Calgary Hitmen or any other Calgary-based team that wins the Memorial Cup, we'll be doing something that hasn't happened in almost 100 years. The fact that this team is so old, and as I have found in my Remember the Calgary series, where I look at Calgary sports teams from the past, when we're talking about teams from almost 100 years ago, it gets very hit or miss to find any relics. To the point that, yes, I will have some pictures from various sources that I put in the description below, or where I get them from, I actually had to make that logo. I kind of looked at the picture and I just wasn't, I couldn't find a good logo to use. So I made that logo to make it almost look like. So I don't know if that exactly is the Calgary Canadians logo, but all I just saw was a maple leaf and two C's. But let's talk about the Calgary Canadians and it's spelled I-E-N-S, not to be confused with the Montreal Canadiens, who it spells I-E-N-S. But uh, what inspired me to do the Remember the Calgary series? Well, when I did the Calgary Hitman Corral series a couple years ago, took in that experience, looking at teams from the past, as well as local clothing company, Sia Deck Clothing, who also puts locals of teams, and they've also been putting on some Calgary landmarks that you can also check out, and they talked, I have seen merchandise that on teams that I have talked about already in the series, and they will talk about in the future as well, that Chris Wilson story on CBC where he shared his Calgary jersey collection. So I have all that in the description below. And speaking of, you know, this is episode 16. If you want to see the previous episode, episode 15, I talked about the Calgary Stampeders Hockey Club where they had a much longer history, but still going further back. But in this one, we're going way, way back. Back in the 1920s, that the Calgary Canadians existed. So let's talk about, as I keep saying, the Calgary Canadians. What, where were they back in the 1920s? Well, the Calgary Canadians, they were a junior ice hockey team that played, obviously, here in Calgary. In 1924, they became the first team from Alberta to play for the Memorial Cup. And the Memorial Cup was established in the, after the, First World War, so it was very early in the history of that championship. However, they did not win it in 1924, but they did win the Royal Cup in 1926, that first team to, to win it. So that's why I felt it was important for me to put this team in the Remember the Calgary series. So we're looking at something that if another Calgary-based team wins the Memorial Cup, that it would be something that has not happened in almost 100 years or over 100 years, depending on when the next Calgary based team wins the Memorial Cup. And it talks about in 1924, the Canadians won the Western Canadian Championship, the Abbott Cup, for the first time. Then they went on to play the Owen Sound Grays in the Eastern Canadian Championship in a two game series, in a total of two games in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So Winnipeg hosted the 1924 Memorial Cup. The Grays won the first game 5 3. And then they tied the second game, so the aggregate altogether went to the Grey Owen Sound Grays. So the Owen Sound Grays won the Memorial Cup back in 1924 over the Calgary Canadians. However, the Canadians returned two years later to face off against the Queen's University in the 1926 Memorial Cup. This time the tournament was a best of three format, so there were three games that played. And again, it was held in Winnipeg, Manitoba, so Winnipeg held the Memorial Cup both years that the Calgary Canadians were in the Memorial Cup. 
after splitting the first two games, the Canadiens won the third game 3-2. And then, as of 2010, the only reign to be the World Cup champion to come from Calgary. As the Calgary Evan, they uh, also have played twice for the World Cup, where they lost in 1999 and 2010. We'll touch on uh, Calgary and World Cup history as well in this video. And then, that's the only championship. Not too sure how long this team actually existed for. That tells you how far back we're going. And I don't have any records on what they did each season, how long they existed for. it. But they did mention some NHL alumni that I found for the Calgary Canadians. Five players from the 1926 team that won the Memorial Cup went on to play the National Hockey League. There was Irv Fru, Ronnie Martin, Don McFadden, Tony Savage, and Paul Thompson. So let's take a look at Irv Few, who was a defenseman who played for the Montreal Maroons, the Montreal Canadiens, and the St. Louis Eagles from 1926 to 1941. He actually comes from Scotland. He only played 96 games in the NHL, scoring two goals, five assists for seven points. So that was uh, the first player. And then the second player, Ronnie Martin, who was uh, actually was from here in Calgary. He played 94 games in the NHL, all with the New York Americans, the other New York team that the NHL had time. Don't have any stats on uh, Ronnie Martin. And then the next NHL Player Don Fadden, who actually is from Crossfield, he uh, was a center in who played for the Chicago Blackhawks from 1930 to 1936, and he was on the Stanley Cup championship team in 1934 for the Chicago Blackhawks, and he played 164 games in the NHL. I didn't find any stats on him on the Wikipedia, and then Tony Savage, who. Uh, Played in the, he was a defenseman who played for the Boston Bruins and the Montreal Canadiens from 1926 to 1936 in his playing career. He played 49 games in the NHL altogether and he was born here in Calgary. Many of these players were local that uh, played for the Calgary Canadiens. And then Paul Thompson, the last NHLer who was a left wing, who played in professional from 1926 to 1939 with the New York Rangers and the uh, Chicago Blackhawks, and he was a three-time winner of the Stanley Cup, winning it with the New York Rangers in 1928, and in 1934 and 1938, he was with the Chicago Blackhawks. Paul Thompson, he's the younger brother of Hall of Fame goaler Tony Thompson, so uh, there's some Hall of Fame bloodlines there, and then speaking of Hall of Fame, well, it also mentions that additionally, Hall of Fame member, there was Sweetie, Mc, Sweetie Schreiner was a member of the Canadians in 1930 and 1931, who was a uh, who was also uh, on the uh, Hockey Hall of Fame, where he played with the uh, Calgary Canadians in 1928, 1929, 1930. So he wasn't on those uh, team that won the World Cup, but he played his you know many junior hockey with the uh, various Calgary teams that also we'll talk about later in the series. So at least the Calgary Canadians played from 1924 to 1931. He also played for the Calgary Bronx, which I will talk about them later in the series, but he had a much longer playoff NHL career as he played 484 games, scored 200 goals, 204 assists for 405 points, and he was on the Toronto Maple Leafs when they won the Stanley Cup in 1942, and that was the only Stanley Cup that he has, and he was a left winger that played a save for the New York Americans in the Toronto Maple Leafs from 1933 to 1946, and he is in the Hockey Hall of Fame. He was inducted in 1962. So there were some uh, notable NHL alumni that played for the uh, Calgary Canadians way, way back in the 1920s. So that's all the information that I have for the Calgary Canadians. And, uh, of course, some uh, relics I was able to find I found like on the Hockey Gods website. And, you know, show some, share some facts about the uh, World Cup and what happened in the series back in 1926. As the Calgary, I said 1924, we lost to the uh, Owen Sound Grays in two games in the aggregate score of a seven to two, and, uh, and then we won against the Queens University Queens in 1926. And I'll say the all the scores was that Calgary won four to two in game one, and then the Queens won three to two 
game two, and then it was 3-2 that Calgary won to clinch the uh, Memorial Cup in 1926. And then I mentioned the winning roster. There was Chuck Dunn, Irving Few, Ronnie Martin, Joel McGoldrich, Donnie Tradden, George Tier, Tony Savage, Bert Taylor, Tall Thompson, Sam Timmons, and then there was coached by Eddie Pullen. So that's all I have for the uh, Calgary Canadians that won the championship back in 1926. It was the 8th Junior Hockey League Championship of the Canadian Amateur Hockey Association. The George Richardson Memorial Trophy champions Queen University of Eastern Canada competing against the Abbott Cup, who was the champion for the Canada, for the Canadians from the Calgary Junior Hockey League in Western Canada. And then the Queen's University team was a junior squad that played exhibition games at the Ontario Hockey Association Senior Division and the teams and the Lake Ontario Veterans Hockey League in the best three series. It was held at the Shays Amphitheater in Winnipeg. Man, it's all of us, so if you're from Winnipeg, you probably might know an old building or who knows it was still there. But uh, that's kind of just of the 1926 Memorial Cup. And then, after that, Calgary was not in the Memorial Cup until 1999 with the Calgary Hitmen. So we went over 70 years, 73 years to be exact, that Calgary was not in the Memorial Cup for a team. As in 1999, the Calgary Hitmen made it to the Memorial Cup. Although, unfortunately, we lost to the host Ottawa 67s in overtime in the finals there, I remember the Calgary Edmund that season was the best team in the Western Hockey League. That was back when we had Brad Moran and Pavel Brendel. And we're backstopped by uh, Alex Fomachev, I think I said the name right. We were coached by Dean Clark. Went all the way to, he said, the World Cup. And we had a bye into the finals, but I remember we lost the heartbreaker 7-6 to Ottawa in overtime. And I remember actually back then, Hearing how long it's been that a Calgary-based team was in the Memorial Cup. And then in 2010, the Calgary Hitmen won the WHL Championship then and made it to the Memorial Cup. However, Brandon was hosting it that year and we lost to the Brandon Wheat Kings. However, it was the semifinal in overtime, but then the Brandon Wheat Kings, they lost to the Windsor Spitfires. That was the team that they were led by Taylor Hall at the time. And actually, Calgary drafted Greg Nemus, who was on the Windsor Spitfires that was on that team, but he didn't pan out. But uh, since then, Calgary has not been to a Memorial Cup. So uh, over the history of the Memorial Cup, Calgary's been in it four times. We won one, lost three. But uh, I'd say the last two times, modern history, with the Calgary Edmonton, we lost it in a heartbreaking fashion. And then, as I mentioned, 1924-1926, Winnipeg, Manitoba hosted the Memorial Cup that the Calgary Canadians played in. And then in 1999, Ottawa hosted the Memorial Cup, where the hosts won it. And this was that back, you know, it's been recent years that the hosts were in the Memorial Cup. When you got the three league championships and the hosts. And then in 2010, Brandon Manitoba was also in the Memorial Cup final, but they lost to the Windsor Spitfires. However, the Calgary actually has hosted the Memorial Cup before. Because if you go all the way back to 1974, Calgary did actually host the Memorial Cup, and it was all played at the Stampede Corral. That season, it was the Regina Pats that won the Memorial Cup over then the Quebec Major Junior Hockey Championship, the Quebec Ramparts. So that's, I'll have all the links in the description below for all the Memorial Cups and all the teams that I could find. On the Calgary Canadians, I knew this was going to be a little shorter of an episode because there's not too many relics to share as I couldn't find much information on the Calgary Can Canadians, but I kind of had to tie in with the Memorial Cup and the Calgary Hitmen because that tells you how infrequently that the Calgary has participated team wise or has only hosted it once for the Memorial Cup. And they do say it's one of the harder championships to win because now you have to win your league and you have to go through a round robin tournament. And the fact that with the nature of junior hockey, you only get a few good players over you know a few years. I mean, 2010, I remember. For the Calgary Edmund, I mean, we were led by Michael Stone, and we had Brandon Cozen, and then I know we were backstopped by uh, Martin Jones, and then we were coached by Mike Williamson, who uh, I know that I believe he spent more time with the, uh, I think it was Tri-City, if I remember, but uh, Mike Williamson carried himself a decent career as well with the Calgary Edmund. But, uh, you know, that uh, tells you, you know, the nature of the trophy, if it's a, uh, 
It's a delete trophy that's been around for over 100 years and for the first time ever it wasn't awarded in 2020 due to the global pandemic but uh, you know this is it's just it's very you know it's nice to look at it this way that uh, you know the Calgary Canadians were able to compete for it twice back in the 1920s and then we gone 70 years before a Calgary based team competed for it and he came so close in 1999 and you know it's going to be almost 100 years that Calgary would last win the Royal Cup if we ever win it again. So uh, that's why I felt it was important for me to put this uh, team in the series. Is that it's mostly just a history lesson looking back on the Memorial Cup. I mean, not too sure if there's any chance of the Kyrie Hitman getting to the back to the Memorial Cup anytime soon. I mean, we have a decent team, but nothing right now to think that uh, we are contenders. And I know that uh, there's lots of better teams out there right now. I mean, there's like over 60, you know, 80 teams that you got to compete through. I think I think there's over 60 teams if you look at the three leagues combined. So there's a lot of moving parts. That's, that's why it's even better. More remarkable when you look, let's say, for example, the Canvas Blazers from the mid-1990s where they won it back-to-back -back or the Windsor Spitfires in the early 2010s. And I mean, it was a simpler time looking back on the Calgary Canadians, but uh, it is what it is. It's nature of the beast as it is right now. So, I mean, what, is, what other things do you know about the Calgary Canadians other than them being the first and only team uh, as of this recording from Calgary to win the World Cup, you know, first team in Alberta to do it as well. So it's very, very historical, but, you know, I had to make the logo just for this episode because I couldn't find a good quality logo to use and I think it's close enough just for the purposes of this video but at least I'm glad I found summer looks to show but nothing to talk about seasons and that because it's you know very iffy to find history in the past so uh, what do you think of this team and what do you think of everything I've done in the remember the counter series so this was episode 16 so in episode 17 We'll go out from the hockey rink to go back to the diamond. I'm actually going to talk about the Ducks in the next episode. And yes, that team is now still alive in a way. Not in Okotoks, but the Okotoks dogs actually did start off with the Calgary dogs. And uh, at least what I could find on there, talk about what started here in Calgary, I would say probably made them better off now in Okotoks. And they're still existing playing right now. In the baseball league there so we'll talk about that in the next episode and of course if you look in the playlist i have all the previous episodes i where i talked about teams in the past in the introduction video i talked about outline all the teams that i plan to talk about and i still been on plan of all the teams i talked about and teams i still plan to talk about later in the series this is episode 16 so uh i did a map out 26 episodes in general in total i should say and I did purposely put the Cannons and the Stampede Wrestling towards the end of the series because I felt those are teams that Calgary sports fans missed the most, but it's been a fun series to look back on teams in the past. I mean, obviously, it's been very, very hockey teams. We've had some basketball teams. We've had some baseball teams. We had some old football teams and even some soccer teams. And I just found it incredible when I was inspired to uh, do the series, as I mentioned with the Calgary and Corral series, the so you had that clothing company as well as that Chris Wells story that how many teams that has represented Calgary over the years and just try to make sure I covered it all. And I mean, in this episode in particular, and I know some episodes later in the series, it's going to be harder for me to find some information than I was able to find some or at least make a logo for thumbnail that I have used for this series. But, uh, you know, it's all I can find. and I'm not going to look search high and wide just to do a little video series that I'm doing right now but it's nice that I have it all on here and all to share to all you who watch my video. So as I say if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fans journey, all the Flames, Hitman, Roughnecks and Stampeders and formerly the Calgary Canadians who uh, won the Royal Cup and looking back it's it'll be a big big deal if another Calgary based team do win the Royal Cup. We still have the Calgary Hitman we can always dream about that and maybe one year we'll host the Royal Cup again. Maybe once the new building gets built, maybe we'll host the Royal Cup, but uh, 
that remains to be seen, but, uh, you know, it will be a big deal if uh, another Calgary-based team ever wins the World Cup. I also do talk personal vlogs, attempt to comedy, and I also do share my experience with them on their own or a sporting event. Let's say, for example, the Calgary Hitman Corral series, so if that all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch. To follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, you know what you do? Just uh, make sure you like, subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below for other ways you can uh, follow me. So, as I say, uh, I've got a few more relics that I want to share with the Calgary Canadians. It's all old black and white pictures. We're looking back to 100 years ago, but uh, I did the best job I can to at least make a logo to put on this episode. It, it looked like a maple leaf and it had CC on it. And it's not the same maple leaf or font that you see on the old uh, Montreal Canadiens jerseys, and I assumed it's red. I don't know what color uh, the Calgary Canadiens even wore back then, and I don't have sophisticated software to, to know, and it's really tough to find any relics on the Calgary Canadiens for any information and in color. So, as I say, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and enjoy all my other content, and as I say, go, let's go Canadiens, and I'll see you in the next episode.